What is going on guys? Welcome to your 19th chemistry tutorial. Oh, I cannot believe you guys are still watching these tutorials. Suckers. Anyways, welcome to your 19th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about gamma emission. My favorite type of emission. Now gamma emission is actually really weird and I'm going to start off this tutorial with an example because if I start trying to explain what gamma emission is without you guys seeing anything I'm gonna sound like a crazy person so gamma radiation happens a lot with the element cobalt 60 now in order to write this it's 60 27 cobalt and the process it undergoes turns it into 60 27 cobalt plus 0 0 y now we're gonna be talking about what the heck the 0 0 y is in detail a little bit later on but for now just think of it as a burst of energy so you're saying okay you're telling me that I can literally have the same exact element converted into the same exact element plus energy where the heck is this extra energy coming from well first let's go ahead and I want to take note of this first of all yes you do have the same exact element because if you take a look at the mass number and also the atomic number on each side you see that it is exactly equal so the element itself is not changing in any way so how can we end up with this extra energy it's pretty weird but let me go ahead and try to explain I'm gonna take things way back to the Bohr model now we have a nucleus of atom with all the protons and neutrons and we also have those energy levels now the first energy level let me go ahead and draw them both now. So say we have two energy levels, the first and the second energy level. Now on the first energy level, we could have, let's say, an electron. And let me go ahead and change my color. This might be kind of hard to see. We can have an electron. Now this electron is pretty much just buzzing around the very first energy level, minding its own business. However, sometimes what can happen is, this electron can absorb energy from light so let me go ahead and make some light here beam 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 so here's my beautiful light over here and what happens is this electron absorbs that energy from the light now whenever an electron absorbs energy from light it hops up to this next energy level so no longer is this electron on the first energy level it is actually on the second energy level so again one more time electrons can absorb energy from light and energy from light is called photons so just remember that I'm going to be calling them photons from now on so whenever an electron absorbs all these photons it, uh, ugh, sorry oh I got like hair in my mouth or something it hops up to the second energy level so that's where it's chilling right now with all this energy absorbed now in order to get back down what it needs to do is it needs to release this energy so in order to get back down to the ground state or the first energy level it's going to release these photons and these are called gamma emissions and that's basically what this is right here it's the releasing of photons whenever electrons step down an energy level so to recap one last time whenever you have an atom electrons can absorb energy and hop up to higher energy levels and they do this through light or photons now whenever they want to get back down they need to give back this energy so this is the process of releasing the energy or gamma emission and that's what this thing symbolizes right here it's the releasing of energy so there you go that's what photons are and that's what gamma emissions basically is so another thing that you may want to take note of is this type of radiation is actually very dangerous and it can basically mess up a lot of crap in your body if you're exposed to it a lot so if anyone's like hey I, I just bought some new gamma emissions want to come over and eat them but like, no dude that's dangerous so you know just some tidbit of information it actually you can't buy gamma emissions but they actually are really dangerous but um anyways that's all i have for you guys for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial we still have more types of radiation to cover so be prepared get your brain prepared and once it is i'll see you guys in the next tutorial